Almost 400 hotels across the UK are now being used by the government to house more than 50,000 asylum seekers. Seaside resorts, airports and even retirement villages are among the locations that are being used as part of a home office scheme, which is costing more than £6 million every day. Our home affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford, has this report. Welcome to the Wiltshire, a hotel, golf course and retirement village set in rolling hills near Royal Wooden Bassett, home to more than 100 mostly older residents, now also home to more than 80 asylum seekers who moved in in December. The leisure village residents pay to access the hotel's pool, gym and golf course, but have had to enter by the back door since the asylum seekers moved in. Down in the village, I found resident and former TV presenter Christopher Morris, now 84 years old and quietly fuming. We find it difficult now to access the facilities. We can't go in the front door, it's locked. There are security men shooing us away. We have to go around the back and the facilities are much more reduced. People don't bother to go there anymore. The retired residents are unnerved by the arrival of lots of young men who mill around at night but they're not the only ones who say the hotel is completely unsuitable for asylum seekers. I found 25-year-old Simpe from Sudan heading to catch a bus to Swindon. He's been in the hotel for three months and says its isolated location means there's no way of learning about British society. There is nothing to do here, nothing. We, we stay the whole day at the, at the room doing nothing. What do you do? Nothing, nothing. Actually, uh, we started getting depressed. Uh, I've been talking with them to see some uh, therapist. The Home Office has rented hundreds of hotels to house tens of thousands of asylum seekers, but few can be as strangely located as this, wedged as it is between a retirement village and a golf course. To provide beds for more than 51,000 asylum seekers and rising, the Home Office has booked out hotels in seaside resorts and cities, in villages and the countryside, at airports and on golf courses, anywhere they can find willing hotel owners. There are 395 hotels in all, 363 in England and 20 in Northern Ireland, but far fewer in the other two nations, 10 in Scotland and only two in Wales. The Leicestershire village of Kegworth is one of the latest places to have the local hotel's business model changed overnight to housing asylum seekers. Yew Tree Lodge was the local wedding venue, swimming pool and gym, as well as bringing in business from the nearby East Midlands airport. But that all changed last month. Frederica Reynolds used to do all the flowers for the weddings, but in an instant that key part of her business was snatched away. They rang me on the Thursday before the, the, the asylum seekers came on the Monday and cancelled all my weddings for the foreseeable. Um, that's a huge amount of work and, and, and income up to me. And she told me it's not just the loss of thousands of pounds. Me and my boys used to go swimming every Saturday there. Um, I've got two little ones and every time we drive past there uh, they want to go swim, swimming and unfortunately that's closed now. Because of the small boats crossing the channel, the number of asylum seekers in hotels has gone from 3,000 to 51,000 in just three years. It's the government policy that almost no one is in favour of, not even the government, and it's costing the taxpayer £6 million a day. Well, Daniel joins me now. As you say, there at the end.